So it's just embarkation morning and all the luggage is all lined up with all their different little tags on them. There's ours. This would be the walk from the boat, which is right over there, past that big F, along here, to what I think is the train station. I'm going to take a look here. But it looks like it's pretty, pretty flat, pretty easy to get your luggage um, through. So it looks like you walk along here. There is the train station. Now we're going underground because we're on a bus. Now we're continuing on the trip to the airport. Morgan came on the bus right before we left. Our tour director asked everyone if they remembered to leave their listing devices and cleared out their safe and that they had their passport and that they had a person that they were traveling with. And again, told us it's about 35 minutes to the airport. It has a little bit of traffic. Our driver is from Poland. He spends two weeks here in Amsterdam driving, and then he spends two weeks at home uh, back in Poland. Um, we talked a little bit about the political climate, but uh, very, very pleasant uh, young man that's driving our bus. And what's odd is that the, the whole bus, there's only three rooms in here, so six passengers were two of them, and then four other people. Um, from the airport down here. We headed towards parking. There's a big sign that shows up parking and then Hilton Sheraton. So there's the Sheraton. And we're stopped here at the toilets. There's toilets halfway there. And then we'll keep on going down here. It's one minute to the Sheraton, which we're already there. And now we have four more minutes on to the Hilton. 
Um, and we're kind of in the parking garage, but we're in a, in a hallway of it. So we're all settled into our Hilton room. It's an atrium room, which means it has a view instead of out to the runway where it'd be all noisy. It has a view into the atrium right here. And then I also selected it because it's the elevators are over there. And most people will either be going this way to the elevator or that way to the elevator and not going past our room, hopefully. Anyway, it has a beautiful desk with USB ports. TV, where we'll be able to hook up the Fire TV. Uh, a great mini bar. Just a beautiful mini bar with all kinds of Coke and stuff at there, probably at a premium price. Oh, here I am. And coffee and tea. Huge bed. And a couch where we could set out our luggage because we don't really sit on a couch much. And then a uh, great closet. We, uh, we packed our two suitcases. We packed the little one here, the pinky one, with our clean clothes. And then the big one has all of our dirty clothes from the, the eight. Well, actually it ended up being nine, 10 days plus 11 at the Hyatt. So all those dirty clothes are all scrunched into there, into the big one. And all of our clean stuff is in the little one, which we just kept on our own hangers and we were able to just hang it up. And huge bathroom. Bathroom is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, huge shower. So after being on the, uh, the boat and having a real small uh, shower, it's nice to have a nice big one has that thing that we've seen here where you have to put your key in to, so that the uh, the air conditioning and everything else will work um, and then the lights will come on and so it saves them power and there's a map of where we are so our rooms here and the elevators are here so hopefully people will walk this way to the elevator or that way to the elevator and not go past our room here we're in the Amsterdam airport and we just got done shopping at the grocery store down there and now we're going to go up and look at the Panorama Terrace and Keith is using the restrooms right there and they have a wonderful shopping area. We went right down there to the grocery store. Um, their major uh, grocery store for people are Albert Heim. You see the little CH and then to go, so right there is to go. And we got some some soda and some rolls and some chips. Okay, so this is the airport Hilton. It's at the end of the parking. The building on the outside kind of looks like that. It's a very geometric look to it. It is about a mile walk from the main departure areas up here to the Hilton. So the lobby is downstairs. It's beautiful. Let me get a picture. It's an atrium. We're on the fourth floor in the corner. The elevators are over here and our room is over here in the corner. Here's the elevators, and you do have to use your room key to get on the elevator. Well, you can get on the elevator, but you have to use your room key to select a floor. And there is a little thing here. Do an Instagram look up. And there's the look up. I'm going into the, the Hilton uh, Fitness Center and the spa to uh, go enjoy a, a sauna and some steam. So this is the, uh, the sauna. It's just beautiful. Towels and water. And then, so this is a dry sauna. And then they have a steam room really nice. It smells really good. 
and then some showers, some regular plain showers, and then there's a whirlpool in there. And then it's currently being worked on. And in here there's the tables and chairs and lounge chairs. So this is the steam room. Really nice in here. This is the uh, the workout area. I like this machine. Spent some time on this one. It's called a Total Gym. And then they oh Techno Gym. Sorry, Techno Gym is the make of it. Don't see the model, but this is what it looks like. Really good workout. So they have a single security line through the gate. So it currently goes all the way through the terminal, then behind us, and fills the whole departure area with a snake line, and then goes outside. So uh, they're saying it's going to take about two hours to get through security, but we allowed ourselves four hours. In our hotel, it's right there, the Mr. Sheraton, and we walk all the way over from the big opening, which is right there. So we thought security was going to be good, but we're actually outside now. So we're past the 90 minute mark, it says. So, so we're going to then go outside here. Up front there, you can see way, way off in the distance. The people that are outside, they're going to go outside of this tent and be standing along the terminal there in the cold. Not be able to see that. Hi. So we're in the um, the Aspire 2 lounge, which is allowed for the Iceland Air people, and uh, they have a wonderful buffet, having some spinach soup and some turkey and some olives and cucumbers, really good food. So it's a nice lounge. Let me show you. Anyway, it's got lots and lots and lots of seating. A lot of people here though. And then over there against this wall is a buffet of all kinds of food. And we have a nice little table here. We're sitting at like a little dinette table up against a wall so we can have a private to ourselves. We're on our Iceland Air flight to Reykjavik. Had a little problem with our seats. We were supposed to be in seat 2G and H, but they changed the equipment, probably because of the flights canceled yesterday and it messed it up. So we're now on a 757. And, uh, and we're, we're actually in seats 5F, D and F. So they're real nice. Very nice seats. Um, they give us headphones. Looks like we're going to have a have a view all the way there. And they're uh, they're loading the luggage right now. Looking around, looking for mine. I'll do a quick find and see if it's with us. The Hilton Hotel. We're leaving. We're leaving Amsterdam.
Okay, we're happy to be going home. Okay, we're in Iceland on our final leg home. To be gone, oh gosh, 12, 13, 14 days on this trip on the Viking River Cruise. I like Iceland Air. It's a nice airline. This airport is a little crowded. I don't think they built it doing what they're doing right now, which is kind of being a hub for all the U.S. cities and all the European cities connecting here through the Rick Bay. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind some time connecting here and spending a day or two in Rick Bay, going to the Blue Lagoon and all the other things, places. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please subscribe, like, and ring the bell to be notified of future videos. Please visit my website at sandyjerome.com and visit the free downloads to get my free ebooks.